Tonight at a remote learning option. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Oscar O'Donnell. And I'm Dina Herrera Garza. It's what a lot of parents have been asking for. The virtual learning option is pending the governor's signature on Senate Bill 15. But it would only apply to a small percentage of students. Channel 5's Thumbi Verma is at Vanguard Academy Elementary in Edinburgh to explain. Thumbi. Good evening, Oscar. Now, this year, campus officials tell us it's not just about education, but it's about safety. As you can see, there's devices right here. This one will tell you your temperature as soon as you walk in, and it'll start beeping if you have a fever. And on the ground are constant reminders to social distance and stagger. And on the walls, more reminders to wash your hands because the virus is real. And that's why the deputy superintendent says he cannot wait for remote learning to start. Tonight, Senate Bill 15 is on Governor Abbott's desk. Once signed, up to 10% of students in each school district could learn remotely, and the state will fund it. Better than nothing, it's uh, less than what we had hoped for, but we do know that we, we have a lot of families that are interested in remote learning, and this gives us the opportunity to provide that and to receive funding, full funding from the state for these individuals. Marquez telling us they're ready to start remote learning as early as next week. The approval, first of all, from the, the governor, and then um, we have to go through the application process because we have probably more of a demand than we have availability. Parents all over the valley telling Channel 5 they don't want to send their kids to school because so many are getting sick. Marquez saying right now handling COVID cases at school takes up a lot of time that could be spent learning. Be constantly vigilant. When a case does arise, we have to do contact tracing, notify our parents, and uh, of course I'll provide remote conferencing to those students so that they don't miss out on school. For now, Marquez thinks this could help schools from being spread too thin. We have to focus on, on why we're here, with the, which is the education of our students. But uh, foundationally, we have to focus first on health and safety. For students to qualify, they have to have passed their STAR exams, earned a C or better on certain courses, and have not missed more than 10% of the school year. We're live in Edinburgh, Thunvi Verma, Channel 5 News.